Investigators with the Indiana State Fire Marshal's Office are working to find the cause of the massive warehouse fire in Richmond. Today, they announced they're looking to speak with any recent or former employees of the My Way Trading Warehouse. As Fox 59's Hannah Fullman explains, the hope is to learn any new information to piece together what happened. Crews are continuing to search through the rubble and find any remaining hot spots at what is left of the My Way Trading Warehouse here in Richmond. Now, it may take a lot longer to find the cause of the fire than anticipated. It was unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. Thank you, Brandon. Jenny Tinkle works at Overhead Door Company of Richmond, a business located across the street from where the massive warehouse fire began. When we saw the smoke, the large amount of black smoke. We evacuated on our own. We knew we shouldn't stick around. Tinkle and her husband had to shut the doors of their business for several days. Okay. Streets were blocked, shipping was delayed, and operations slowed down. But with things slowly getting back to normal, the question at the forefront of Tinkle's mind, like many others, how did this happen in the first place? There's just a lot of unknowns out there. It obviously must have started somewhere in the building because that's where I saw the smoke coming out, <laughs> so I don't know. The Richmond fire chief says when he first arrived to the fire, he saw bundles of plastics in flames, and from there it grew to 13.8 acres of burning plastics. The fire jumped from one pile of plastic to another pile of plastic, it darkened down on us. We pulled back out and started a defensive operation. In the last week, investigators have searched through the site, taking pictures and looking for any signs as to what caused the fire. Now they're looking to speak with any former employees of the warehouse to learn any information that could help. But it's going to take a very long time to piece it all together. It could be weeks, it could be months, it could be years. And while the investigation is still in the very early stages, people like Tinkle say they are thankful that business can resume as usual once again. As you can see, a fence is now put up around the perimeter to keep people out of the area. Still, crews will be going in and out to put out hot spots every other day. For now, reporting in Richmond, Hannah Fullman, Fox 59 News. A Fox 59 investigative team has been looking into the property owner partnership with the city and previous problems that the site has had. You can read our investigation, our full coverage of what the fire right has right now on our website, fox59.com.